Hey, Texas Inspectors, Kevin Wagstaff here with Spectora. Today I'm going to walk you through how to get up and running with Spectora using our Trek REI 7 5 template that outputs the proper form that you need to deliver in Texas. So let's get started. If you sign up for a trial account, you'll log in and land on your dashboard. First, you're going to want to go into the template center to make sure that you have the Trek template enabled. So you'll go into templates or new if it's not in there yet, and then click on Browse the Template Center, and into the Template Center you go. And down here you'll see the Trek REI. So you'll click on that, and it'll import the template to your account to make sure it's available here in the dropdown. So when you go there to the dropdown, you can see we have the Trek required sections here, and then you can get started creating a new inspection. One thing to make you aware of is that we worked with about a dozen reputable home inspection companies in Texas to refine the form and to get it in line with TREC standards. So we have done our research. We had a focus group that we worked with very closely to get the format in order. So if you had questions about that, uh, just wanted to make that clear. So now that we're at the dashboard and we have the TREC template imported into our account, let's create a new inspection. So we create a new inspection. You can fill out as much or as little of this information as you want. You will need a zip code in there. So let's just put one in. And then when you go down to your services, you'll be able to select any of your services that you set up in settings. But until then, we can just select the Texas truck here that we have set up on this test account. And we'll manually edit and make sure to include our truck template. There we go. All right, and then we'll save the inspection. All right, now that we have that inspection set up, let's click into it. If it's set up for any date in the future, you'll need to go in and build the report manually to generate the templates every morning at 3 a.m., as you'll see here. But you can always build it ahead of time. And what that's gonna do is create a direct template for this inspection. Now, once that's created, you can click into it and start editing the report just to get a feel for how it works. So we can go in and start checking items off in the information section. Let's go into structural and edit some items in there. We'll go into foundations just to give you a feel for how this looks and feels. So this comments is a part of the check template as you know. So you can have, you have that checked off already for you so you can enter comments about the foundation. So if you mark something as deficient in this section, the deficiencies will show up down here. Let's click on foundation cracks minor. And now we'll go preview the report. So we'll click preview publish here. And this is the most common thing Texas inspectors say is they'll click on preview publish and say, hey, this isn't the Trek form. I gotta deliver the Trek form. So what we do when you select the Trek template is we still generate the HTML report, which buyers and agents love, and they may end up using anyway, but we also generate the PDF of the Trek form that you have to deliver right here. So if you click down to full report, you'll notice that it outputs the Trek template just as you have to deliver it. So everything you put into the Spectora template as you're doing the inspection will populate this form for you. You notice we have the address, we have the inspector, you'll have your license number in there, and then it has all the appropriate disclaimers and disclosures that you have to have. Here you'll notice we have the type of foundation brick, any comments that you have, and then the foundation cracks minor that we marked off. So if you have any photos for that, they would also be attached right here. So now we'll go back, edit the report some more. So once you're in here and you're making changes, this will populate the Trek template um, and the form that you have to deliver. The same holds true for mobile. So when you're on the mobile device filling out your report, this will save to the cloud and you'll see everything checked off and all your photos here on the desktop. And then you'll preview and publish the report, see it in the HTML, and also have the PDF track form to deliver to your clients. Now, once you get to the point of publishing the report, you'll simply click publish, and this will show you your standardized emails that you, that you fix up in automation. So you'll pre-populate these emails to deliver the report to the client, and you can include links directly to the PDF or directly to the HTML report or both. So our early Texas inspectors, a lot of them have to deliver both because we're required to, but most clients and agents are using the HTML report, so it's beautiful to look at. So 
Um, that's another section that we can go through. I'll link to another video here as well. Um, and on our YouTube channel, you can see how to change your automated emails to make them fit your style and what you want to look to. All right, so in summary, we do produce the Trek 7.5 form. You can do it on mobile. You don't need a connection to do it on site. You save it to the cloud, and then you preview the HTML version of the report and the PDF uh, that's in the Trek form, and then you can send it off to your client and link to the HTML, the PDF, or both. So if you have questions, let us know. We've worked really hard on the Trek template, and we're excited to have more inspectors in Texas try it out.